We have a question um, from Ross. I'm always struggling to know when to start using my weightlifting belts for squats and deadlift and when straps might be appropriate, if at all, for the deadlift. Are there any good rules of thumb? Well, yeah. Uh, one thing I started to do late in my career, and I wish I'd have done it earlier, is I only use my weightlifting belt on clean and jerks at a weightlifting meet. And the idea behind that was to force me to teach myself to have that, and it is, it is anaconda strength, that lockdown. Mm -hmm. So for me, I never, I never believed you should wear a belt in snatching because the belt, the, the buckle can catch on a snatch as you pull it up. On cleans, you know, it's up to you if you want to use it. On overhead ballistic work, uh, I prefer that you actually build, you know, that solid core yourself. Squats and deadlifts. Now, you, you ask a very good question, and I like it. You know, when is that threshold? Um, for me, one of the things, and, and I, the late, great John Powell told me this. Uh, John used to wear his weight belt um, when he was throwing, and uh, people thought it was do all these things. And he said, yeah, well, what happens is um, he'd either lift before he threw or th throw before he lifted, but he kept forgetting to bring his belt. So he just decided when he left the house to put the belt on. So he did all of his throws for a while and all of his lifts for a while with the weightlifting belt on so he wouldn't forget. He had a lot of other things on his mind with a full-time career as a San Jose police officer and, you know, a bunch of other things going on too. Um, so, so I just gave you two kind of extreme examples. One, and I think there's value to it, is only put the belt on when you think you need it. Um, when I'm doing heavy heavy lifts. Uh, early in my career, I would put the belt on and later I realized that I needed that strength there for, for the field to play. So that's one theory. Only use it when you're really going after it. Theory two, keep it on for everything. Now, neither of those answers really do satisfy your question, but one of the things you might want to think about is this and just try to get yourself a threshold number. So let's say you're doing five sets of squats and let's make it as boring as we can. 135 for five, 225 for five, 315 for five, 405 for five, 495 for five. I would say once you get over that middle warm up, that middle lift, that's when you start wearing your belt. Um, uh, and of course, you're gonna have to probably spend some time thinking about that. When, so in other words, I guess what I'm saying is after you're warmed up with the threat of fatigue starting to show up, that's when you want to wear your belt. Now, I can't give you, you know, uh, 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 do this, you know, because there's so many variations in here. But, you know, either only for your biggest attempts, wear it all the time, or after that warm-up session and your lifting is over, you know, so you warm up to lift weights. And then on every specific lift, you warm up a little bit again to, you know, depending on what the lift is. Like, I'm, I'm not going to warm up for a curl or something like that, but I'll warm up on a squat. Um, after that, those warm-up lifts, I'd pop the belt on. Um, all three answers are correct, and a lot of it just depends on what you want. Uh, not what you want, but what's appropriate for you. All right, thank you.